Welcome back to Riot Pro Wrestling. I'm Veronica Scott, and with me is the Riot Co. General Manager, Princess of Weird, Princess Josh. That's right, and you know, I've gotten to spend a lot of time with you, and quite frankly, I, I like the name Veronica, but you're, you're more of a Ronnie to me, so I'm going to just start referring to you as Ronnie. So, Ronnie, we've got a hell of a show here tonight. I mean, Ali Muhammad versus Brian Batical. Well, we saw Ali Muhammad first enter and he just left Sean Hawley just threw him into the trenches yeah, I mean he had a shot at the tag team riot tag team championships and just left him kind of high and dry there um I'm not too big of thrilled with Ali Muhammad well, speaking of people who I'm not really big and thrilled with want to see something cool uh, hi best friend oh uh, sorry We'll be right back. Not bad. <laughs> hey fans, it's the man they call Dave with producer Joe. And you probably know us as the commentary team for New Heights Pro Wrestling. But when we're not doing that, we got a podcast. That is the Working Fans Podcast, where we talk pro wrestling, comedy, MMA, and so much more. And tell them about that signature segment. Oh, you talk about the 531? You know I am. That is a homegrown creation that has been our namesake. And if you want to know our namesake, we got Chevy, AJ Strange Brew, as well as the two of us. And why don't you go to our uh, channel, like, subscribe, show us some love, rate, review, all of it. Riot Pro Wrestling returns Saturday, October 14th at the Volusia Mall in Daytona Beach, Florida for Trick or Treason. Tickets start at $20 first row, $15 for second row. $10 general admission. Doors open at 1.30 p.m. Showtime at 2 p.m. There'll be a costume contest and free candy. Tickets now available on eventbrite.com. This will be a riot. Welcome back to Riot Pro Wrestling. Yeah, I'm sorry about that thing before the commercial break, by the way. I, I didn't expect yeah. him to be there. I mean, it works, but it doesn't work that well. I mean, yeah, uh, can just contact Ali anyone. Muhammad. Yeah, Ali Let's, Muhammad Ali here tonight. Muhammad. Let's get back on track. Mm -hmm. Earlier before the break, you were talking about how his fighting spirit, but... Yeah. I mean, this guy had an opportunity for the tag team titles, and he just listened to Miss, was a puppet for Mr. Showtime. Be willing to fight, right? Well, I mean, the thing with Ali Muhammad is, you know, he's all business, but we can't get a word with him. I mean, yeah, I could see that. He likes to do a lot of his talking in the ring, I guess. We didn't really see that last time we saw him, but somebody who's willing to do his talking in the ring, it appears, is... A, an interesting individual by my standards with yeah, all absolutely. those Hawaiian shirts. Brian Batical, I mean, talk about somebody wanting to defend somebody's honor, coming to the aid of Sean he, Halley. He had to jump in when Ali Muhammad just didn't do anything. And we actually got a word from him today. Oh, really? So uh, how's about this? Why don't we go to that footage and then we can go to Joe and Dave at ringside so we can catch all of the action. Sounds great. Beautiful Daytona, the day has arrived. Riot Pro Wrestling, Brian Batical here with my secret weapon. That's right, it's Joe the Typhoon. Ali, doesn't matter what you have, I don't care, doesn't matter. I got my best friend here in my corner, he's got my back 110%. You have somebody in your back. 110%? I don't think so. Can you even count to 110%? It's like after 109. Okay, all right, we're good. Let's go to Buckets. I love Buckets. We got a big match coming up for you here. Yes, we do. Beautiful crowd here at the Volusia Mall. Daytona Beach, Florida. Yeah, that sound. The dance going there. It's the man called Dave. It's producer Joe from the Working Fans Podcast. And we're excited to call this matchup for you guys tonight. And I'm just getting lost in the music here. Yeah, cut the music. music. Cut oh. the music. Cut the music. First of all, pork chops. 
you ever introduce me the way you just did five seconds ago, I'm going to cut a piece of bacon off your ass. Hey, he's a Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. No my can't... name is Jarrell Gansey. Oh. I am the only outcast in professional wrestling. You, you say interrupt me one more time. I'm going to smack what? the taste out of you. I came what, what, to Riot Pro Wrestling to save you all from all the boredness in the back. I have tried to come to save you what? from yourselves. I came to Daytona Beach, walked myself in the back, and all I saw is little kids with titles, token black people sat junking and dancing around like idiots. And Daytona Beach and Riot Pro Wrestling have one thing in common. They're both losers. What? I bet you guys are all, all into NASCARs, right? Yeah, we love those left turns. And I bet you're all into your cousins too, you hillbilly hicks. But that's not the point. I want you all to take notice right now, because when Jarrell Gazzy talk, you listen. When I have this mic in my hand, you shut your mouth. So, let's get this all clear right now out of the open. I don't care if you're the tag team champions. I don't care if you're the young lions champion. And I sure as hell don't care if you're the Riot World Heavyweight Champion. Everybody is being put on notice, even you fat boy. Everybody is being put on notice, and you too fat boy, get off the damn phone when I'm talking. Because my name... You are boring. You are boring. You are boring. You are boring. is boring. Your mother is boring. Shut your mouth when I'm talking. And why are you reading a newspaper when I'm out here? Gerald Gansey taken into the fans. Wow. Here. I feel like he's done. Outcast, come on out, man. Come on, bro. I think it's time for you to go in the back. Alright, we got to wonder what's going to go on between these two in the back here. Hey man, come on. Don't bug these people anymore. Just talking. Oh. Kind of wonder if that rubbed him the wrong way, but Brian Battical, you know, good friend coming out in people's corners. Brian Battical is in the ring with Ali Muhammad tonight. Yeah. Because of the position Ali Muhammad was on on our last show. All around good guy. Yeah, he came to Sean Hawley's aid at the last event. At this event, he's taking on Ali Muhammad because we saw in the return Ali Muhammad teamed up with Sean Hawley against the House of Spades, did not tag in, left Sean Hawley to get beat down. Brian Battical didn't like that one bit. No. Brian's a stand up guy. Ali Muhammad showed he was not. No, he was happy to take the payday, and here he is going to step in the ring. I am the illustrious Ali Muhammad. All of you listen now, about to man. This man is an enigma making his way to the ring. Yes. Crowd not a fan. He doesn't seem like he's a fan of them. Gets ready to go in the ring. You know, I wonder who's going to have the advantage here. Yeah, I mean, if you've been keeping up with our social medias, you saw Brian Battical went out 
shopping for that special shirt he wore to the ring. This is a big event for him. If he's able to step in the ring and right the wrong that Ali Muhammad did at our last event, that's all Brian Radical cares about. Right. You saw him standing up for the fans at the beginning of this match. Yeah, just a good guy, you know? This man is almost the heart of Riot Pro Wrestling, the conscious of Riot Pro Wrestling. Ali Muhammad, not so much. Brian's like a good neighbor or a good co-worker, you know? Somebody you can just depend on. He's going to do the right thing. And even though we saw Ali at our last event, we didn't see what he can do in the ring necessarily because no. he didn't have the guts to get in there. You see Ali taking his time to get ready in the ring. Making the ref help him get undressed. Slow, methodical start here. I thought you had more hair. Interested to see who, like I said, who will have the advantage here when it comes to the power and the quickness. You know, they both look similar in terms yeah. of physiques. I mean, Ali's got a little bit more size on him, way, but... Uh, Batical looks a little leaner, but we'll see. Ali not taking any trash from these fans here. We got a nice little group in the room. We got a nice little group watching outside. And if you're watching, this is the match to catch. Big tie up nice from Batical and Muhammad. Batical with a go behind. Beautiful there. Trying to pick him up for that German, but. Yeah. Muhammad able to kind of fight it off. Oh, look at Ali. Ooh. A little bit of a judo throw there. Effortless, too, from yeah. Mohammed. I don't know if Batical was necessarily expecting that. Looks a little surprised. Now he's going to reevaluate his game there. Grabbing that arm that Mohammed's putting Ooh. out there. Mohammed, though. Solid base. Oh, oh big knee. Fires Batical into the corner. You think this is a game to be bought? Oh. oh. Talking trash as he slowly comes in, gets the poke to the eye, resisting the head to the turnbuckle, though. Again, Muhammad has a strong base where he's just not getting moved. You've seen a couple times where Batical tries to you know, grab the arm, get some wind, but Muhammad that strong base, he just doesn't move. Gotta notice that Tycoon is holding a chair over there. It's absolutely legal. Is that what you said? Absolutely. What are you doing? You gotta wonder. The tycoon's gotta know better, right? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, you see what he did there? Your winner of this match by disqualification, Brian Batico. Mohammed is shocked. We are shocked. He just outsmarted everybody here. Okay, the tycoon is playing chess while well, the rest of us are playing checkers, apparently. Ali Muhammad is really frustrated on that referee. He knows what happened here. He got a fast one pulled on him. Now, is he mad that his record is 0-2 now in Riot Pro, or is he mad because that's not the way he wanted to win this match? Well, I mean, he was actually looking very impressive in a lot of ways, but he got outsmarted here. I know, I was just about to say from the skill he was showing us in the ring, you gotta wonder why he didn't tag in before, and now he's taking his flag and he's going oh, home. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, oh shots of the pack of Baticals had. Now he's being stomped out here oh, before. Wow. This man did not take that pat on the shoulder he kindly earlier. You gotta wonder, did the tycoon set this up? It looks like it. Oh! I believe that's Jorel Gray with the knee there. Jarrell Gansey. 
We're not familiar this with this gentleman, but we heard the way he talked to the people earlier. Say my name. My name is Jarrell Dent. Say it. He's going to know his name now. You choking him, you You get your ass off. Man, thankfully, I got his name right because I would not want to be put in that. You got to wonder, did the tycoon set this up? It would appear so. All right, Jarrell Ganzi making quite the debut here. And fans, I want to apologize if we're thrown off on commentary because we did not expect this. We thought we were getting a one-on-one -on -one match between Badical and Ali Muhammad and Jarrell Ganzi. I don't even know what to say about this. He's made his debut. If you want to keep up with more of what Jarrell Ganzi is going to do, Please stay up on our social medias. Thank you for watching. Good night, everybody.